we can move to okay that's the move you're in minnesota you're living in minnesota what do you i almost want to say not counting winter or snow anything snow related what do you like the least i hate bad drivers okay so fair that's there's a, good a lot one. of crazy drivers out here <laughs> well there's everywhere yeah <laughs> but la it's hard to drive crazy because you're going so slow right yeah yeah you really can't drive here it's like Whoa, <laughs> what's going on? Yeah, I... <laughs> you cut me off. Yeah, I turn left now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. <laughs> yeah, you're on your own. Yeah. <laughs> So that's a really good question. I don't have, I'll go with George's answer with the drivers. Although I work from home, so I like rarely drive anywhere. Yeah. So, and if we go out, he drives. So that's fair. I'm, I'm a witness. Right. Yes. Bad drivers. Bad yeah. drivers. Yeah. yeah. Very winter, short winter list. related thing. I mean, cause most people I think it's going to be like the cold potholes driving in the snow. Um, uh, maybe the humidity. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. sure. It's, I follow doesn't care. I really don't care. Mosquitoes? I mean, I, mean, I, I don't oh, know. That's yeah. like anywhere in the That's state, not thing. just Twin Cities I feel like specific, Grand Rapids is way worse, yeah? It's way worse. Okay. Yeah. More yeah, heavily wooded. Oh, yeah. yeah. But you guys are by the river, so I mean, you know. You know. It hasn't been that bad at our house. In the city. It's, it's crazy how, worse. like, you know, they, they like treat for them and stuff, so parks aren't as bad. Yeah, and, no. You know. It's no, it's not country. bad at all. Yeah. Well, the flip side of that, what do you uh, what do you like best about living in the area? Either either your neighborhood, the city. I, mean, at home. I love the people here. You know, it's a lot of uh, diversity, um, different cultures. I like all the restaurants, the scene. Yeah, all the good bars in town. Yeah, the food scene is good here. In the do you have a local f- chef? Do you have a local favorite that you've happened upon? I like Sonora. Yeah, yeah over at East, East Lake. Oh, uh, there's one on Someone Nicolette. Yeah. On Nicolette. We have a friend that works there. And nice. But it's good food. Um, we recently went to, I think it's pronounced Juche in St. Paul, and East it's Paul. Um, really good. And it's this little hole in the wall place with maybe like seven tables, and it's very good. It's Korean food. <laughs> it's Korean food, yep. Nice. It's like, How do you spell it? It's like a New it's York It's J U C H E. Okay. Okay. So good. Cool. Yeah, it was a good spot. The owner's really nice and cheap. Informative. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, good, it's so mean, affordable for the food you so get. Good. You're like, how is this only $7? I mean, it's top notch. I've had yeah. places like you know, that. Those are always the best. Yeah. yeah. Like, There's a place called you? Pad Thai in St. Paul that, okay. that I literally have been like, I should tell them they should charge more. Pad Thai. Right. Like, like Don't you know, you could definitely no, no. charge more and nobody would think twice. Right. Yeah. You know? If you go to some places, you get I don't want you to go to and it's like 18 bucks. Yeah. Dude, like, what yeah. is this? For like, like three like pot a stickers, you're like for ten bucks. Oh, yeah, cool. wow. Yeah, You've been here for a year, just over a year now. That's cool, officially. Yeah, a yeah. Year. This might seem obvious. Quick. Are you glad you moved? Oh yeah, we say it like probably weekly. We're like, we love it here. Oh, right. We're so happy here. Like, we, you know, we get invited to different kinds of events, whether it's through work or just friends, I guess, uh, from the area. And we're like, there's just so much to do, and yeah. that's what really we were craving. Yeah. Um, coming from Grand Rapids, I'm sure. Um, just like you know, we don't have kids, and so we're just like free to go about whatever any day of the week yeah. and so it's just really nice to have a lot of options and yeah. nearby options too yeah. because living in Grand Rapids for example we'd be like ooh we're craving let's say as an example sushi and we'd have to drive to Duluth which is an hour and 30 minutes wow. you know just to have like a different right. kind of meal Whoa. Yeah. and so to be living here and we're like there's this sushi and that sushi and this sushi like there's so many options yeah. like yeah. That sushi we're still time. not over Take it your pick. <laughs> <laughs> We uh, talked about it across the street. No, the like, we should have got about, sushi. Yeah. Juche, right, um, is open till one. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. So, late, late night spot. Wow. Yep. Okay. That's like a New York vibe. I yeah, know. I love that. It's yeah. cool. It does have a New York vibe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Juche. Shout out Juche. Juche. Yeah. <laughs> the Ben Wu. Yeah. And the Eddie That's Wu. another neighborhood I've never <laughs> gone across. East side. Feels a lot different than a lot of the rest of yeah. St. Paul. And yeah, it's just like I like it. Different vibes. It's, it's a different vibe. One thing we haven't mentioned since we're talking about Eastside, we got George's mom to move oh, here. <laughs> oh, what? So, like, if we haven't expressed how much we like living in the Twin My Cities, we got his Eastside. mom to move to Grand Rapids first, yes. But then after being here a year, she moved here two months ago. Wow. Um, and so now we have George's mom in she the Twin Cities. So, nice. you know. Let's yeah. send my mom here. Now. Let's go. That's cool. yeah. yeah. That's cool. Uh, it feels more like home now. Yeah, I bet. For yeah. Sure. yeah.